like the channel. I want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you for the love, follow, and appreciation. All that fun stuff. Today we're working on my Mustang. We got a little leak coming from the thermostat controller, climate controller. So we got to figure that out. But first we got to pull a bunch of stuff apart. Like we got to get this intake hose out of the way. Drain the coolant because we're going to replace the coolant anyway because it is brown as brown. It's not good. So let's get this taken apart and get it out of the way so we get in there because the bolts are really close to the intake there. You can see one right there, one right there. And one that's behind this hose that goes to the uh, heater cord. So let's uh, get this moved out of the way so we get hoses out of the way, get the coolant drain, and we'll see you guys in a minute. Don't worry about the heater, the corner of the noise because it is about 33 degrees out here right now. All right, so we got this top hose off. Figure out where the drain plug was. And we are draining in at the That's gross. So while that's draining, we gotta get this hose here off. And this hose there off. I'm wondering if I should take off my throttle body. So it's not in the way and I don't damage anything else, but yeah. And now we also gotta get this hose off. There. Yeah. Okay. Hose is out of the way. We got this disconnected here so it's not in our way. We just can't really move it because the bracket that's over here, it's holding it together. It's kind of hard to move, but now I gotta get in and get that plug undone. And then we gotta move these three bolts that are right there and that should just pop off all together. There's a nice line there for that hose with a bottom and pull it off. So that should come right out. Alright, thermostat housing's off. Looks like it's been leaking like right here. Whoop, I can't show you this. Who's that housing's off? Looks like it's been leaking around this seal here. Which we're gonna replace this seal. And then the seal that's up here the thermostat itself we're gonna pull it off and replace it but if you look down here you get a light but just another FYI had to remove the serpentine belt because that one hose that goes right here I couldn't get it up high enough and I wasn't gonna take the hose off the other end to get it out so we just quickly removed the belt easy to put back on when we're done and there's, there's the hose I was talking about right there. Let's get these gaskets uh, pulled out here on this one and that one and get replaced. Alright, so these are the gaskets. This is for your thermostat seal on this part here. And this one's the uh, thermostat gasket, which we're going to say. So we'll turn this over. Have yourself a pick in here this old seal out somehow. It's pretty freaking long. I think at least get it out. Uh, there's the old seal. Yeah, it's grody. I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit, make sure there's no gunk that's stuck in here, and put new seal in. Alright, so we get the new gasket out of the seal. This is all cleaned up. There's the new gasket. back in, push it around, there we go, that's back in, so now we're going to flip this over, and I'm going to pop off these three bolts, place this seal that's in here on your thermostat, and check to make sure the thermostat's good, because I already have it out, might as well do it, why not, I want to show you guys something, so here's the gasket, right, look how flat that is, it's supposed to be round, and it's also hard. It's not really rubbery anymore. That's a good thing we're checking into this thing. And Rusty! Might order a new thermostat just to replace it as well. But, yeah. It's supposed to look round. Look, round. Flat. 
<laughs> so it's probably original. I don't think it's ever been changed out. All right, so thermostat checked out. We put it in some hot water. It opens up like it's supposed to and works like it's supposed to. So got the new seal out. It just goes in like this. It goes around, holds that in place. So when we put this back on and bolt it back down, the seal gets nice and tight and we're good to go. I hard to do this with one hand, but yep. After the thermostat housing is reattached, this is gonna go back in here. You gotta kinda just wiggle it here. See what I mean by how the belt was in the way? Cause it ran right down here. Cause the hose didn't wanna take it off. So we're gonna just kinda wiggle this back in here. Somehow. Now get your fingers in the way. line up this bottom piece right there Just slide that hose on I'm not really feeling it right again am I? Right. bottom hose is on there just gotta move the clamp I'm gonna get these three bolts lined up which I'll need two hands for saw off the camera down but get those three holes lined up with those those guys right down there hook back up the thermostat hook back up there now we just gotta put the belt back on get the upper radiator hose back on close the drain plug that is down there at the bottom fill it full of coolant and start it let it warm up check everything turn the heater on make sure everything's flowing right and we are pretty much done oh all right everything's back together well yeah i gotta hook up one little hose one little line here about. There we go, right there. Yeah. Now we gotta put the drain plug back in the radiator, get it back off the, the jack, and then we'll fill it full of coolant and pray that it works great. Just can. All right, we're running. Got our first little coolant all filled up, ready to go. Gotta let it run, warm up. Turn up my flashlight. There it is. And. Uh, Warmed up, get the heater run. Oh, we already got to throw it back up before you suck it down. Woo. Yeah, when you're doing this, when you bleed the system, turn the heater on full blast, fill it full, coolant, start it run, get the thermostat opened up, you know, let it run, get warmed up. All right, guys, well, that does it. We let it run for a little bit, warmed it up, and we let it sit, cool down, see what levels the uh, what levels these go to. Let it suck the juice down when it cools off here. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as that cools down a little bit. And yeah, I got a little mess to clean up. Something fell over here. All right, guys, we are done. Back at the where it's supposed to be sitting in our little parking stall, but uh, it's done. I know we're gonna see a little steam come off the motor because the coolant that was on top of the block it'll evaporate eventually when it starts driving it, and actually it stops leaking and filling those back up. But now it's done. Let it sit. I'll take it for a little ride a little later, see how it runs. And yeah. So if you guys like this short little video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And we will talk with you guys later. Bye bye.